Good day to you. Today I'm going to have a quick run through of um, INF 2611, 2021 assignment 3. Um, it's requiring us to create an MDR window application. So this is just a preview to give you a simple quick run through of what you need to do, how you create the MDR and create the um, menu structure. All right. So this won't have a lot of the code like it normally does. Um, I don't want to release all my code in one go. I'm going to just show you how to get your basic form set up quickly. All right, so first of all, um, we're going to have to open up our Qt creator. All right, so get started here. Apologies. Not Qt Creator, we're actually opening up PyQt File Designer. From here, you can see you presented with a screen of uh, different options. Normally, we would choose Dialog without buttons. This application requires us to choose a main window. So we click on Create. And this is the basic form. You can see he has already uh, an option to start typing um, a menu bar. And you can see there it's already created a menu bar. There's also a status bar, which is at the bottom over here, which you some people don't see, but that's the status bar. Okay. And then the central widget uh, is how the form is laid out. So, yeah. All right first thing that we do is we want to create an MDI area and so um, I'll see my MDI area is under containers over here so what I would do is I just drag this MDI area here okay and you can see it adds an MDI area uh, I'm going to expand this okay so that it goes to as much of the screen as possible can even shrink this a little bit because I don't need the properties right now and I can create a bigger um, application all right so once you've got this MDR um, created uh, the other thing we want to do is we want to save so I'm going to save my form I'm going to call it uh, MDI um, INF. I'm actually going to call it assignment 3 um, and I'm going to create UI UI assignment 3 click on save ok so that form is saved um, to add multiple windows to this I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to say add a sub window so as you can see here it's added a, a sub window and it's called a sub window alright so you can minimize that, right click on it again, go add sub window, so now you've got a sub window too, um, right click, um, add sub window, and then I've got a 3, add sub window, and now I've got 4. Okay. Now with this program, uh, let me open up the assignment, it says here assignment 3, multiple documents and layout. Complete the assignment 3 template and submit a PDF version on My Unisa. No late assignments will be considered for marking. Your programming tasks. You are required to develop a multiple document interface, MDI, application for the following scenario. An MDI consists of a main window with a menu bar, toolbar and central workspace widget. You are required to develop a basic tourism event management application for your community that displays information of events, venues and bookings, reservations. Dates and start times are required for events. Venue capacity, address and contact detail of event manager must be recorded for each venue. Client information in terms of name and contact details must also be managed by your program. Store all your data in text files. Uh, make use of at least the following widgets a Q menu bar, a Q file dialog, and any widgets used to date that may be useful. The, um, yeah, and so that's what's important, okay? So when I was 
trying to think of like what events would uh, I want to put here um, because uh, because I know um, sport um, I instantly thought of super sport super sports already got um, a program that allows you to cater for multiple events so um, on my on my main program I've created a soccer rugby cricket and swimming so these sub windows I've, I've used them as soccer cricket rugby and the swimming all right over here you can see there's a top here so you double click on it um, and you'll notice uh, yeah when you double click on here that you I'm going to type in file so now it's added an option and if you have a look here on the menu bar side it's added a, um, a thing on here um, it's added an uh, like an action no no not yet menu bar okay so on here we say file type here and I'm gonna call this um, let me just check I think it was soccer yeah I did um, soccer okay and over here I'm gonna put rugby and then over here I'm going to put uh, cricket and then over here I'm going to put swimming okay so that's done over there and now in order to add an option over here I'm going to double click over here and I'm naming this as window and then on my window I've added a tabbed view, a sub window view, a tiled view, a cascade view. So you just double click on here and you go um, tabbed view, tabbed, tabbed view, like that. Um, then the next one is sub window view. and the last one I'm going to add is cascade and as you can see while I was doing that it started adding these Q actions here on the right hand side and they've given they've given a Q action name so this is the basic setup for the MDR form this is what I wanted to show you. I wanted to just show you how quick and easy it is to set up. You got to choose whatever events you want to use. I'm just using soccer, rugby, cricket and swimming. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and uh, make your own choices. So I hope this video is a bit helpful. Thank you for watching. All the best with INF 2611 and enjoy. Thank you. Goodbye.